Anthonistas, Clara here. Welcome to the channel, PSA, Public Shopping Addict. Always so nice to see all my returning Addictonistas. Hello, hello. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this PSA. And uh, if you're new to the channel, it's your first time stopping by here. An extra welcome. Hello. And hopefully you'll hang out with me. So if you like what you see, by all means, feel free to subscribe and you know, do this and do that and everything you need to do so that way you're in the know and you can hang out with me some more right so that's what it's all about anyway so I am really excited to do this PSA uh, for everyone this is a Valentine's PSA so to speak and why is it a Valentine's PSA? Because I'm wearing red in honor of Valentine's Day. And right behind me, I have almost, I think I found every bag that I own in the color red and pink and maybe a combination of that. And, uh, and I am going to end this PSA with an unboxing from Michael Kors because it's my Slater. So that's that's going to be towards the end of this. So I just really wanted to do a quick rundown of the bags that I have. I'm not going to go through them in every little detail because there are so many. I didn't realize I had so many and I think those are all of them. I may have maybe one or two around, but it could be in the closet of death. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to start and just give you a quick tour of these bags. I'm not going to get into any details. Most of them have been shown on the channel before. Some of them I have not shown uh, at all, so they may be a first time. And if there's one that you want to see more of, I mean, leave me, of course, a comment below and I will be more than happy to circle back to that um, sometime hopefully soon anyway so before I get started though I wanted to quickly just uh, kind of show you because this is probably um, something I wanted to also show to uh, one of my uh, girls out there, Miss Dee Dee who um, you know as you know there has been a craze of the Stanley cup right everybody has uh, jumped into that and uh, I have to tell you um, I didn't fall for it although it was tempting because you know it's a really nice uh, cup 40 ounces and you know it, it, yeah it's easy to get into that but for me it was like you know mm, do I want to kind of you know go down that rabbit hole because it is a rabbit hole and yes it is but I wanted to show you something ever so quickly because I had mentioned it to, to uh, Dee Dee on her channel uh, where she was she had her beautiful Stanley cups and that I would not take that away they were beautiful um, I purchased a sort of a Stanley dupe recently on uh, TikTok which was interesting because it was my first TikTok purchase I have never purchased uh, anything on TikTok they have a TikTok shop and so they were like having all these videos on this dupe kind of <laughs> dupe kind of tumbler and of course I fell for it and I said well let me order it because for the price that I paid I figure it cannot you know I couldn't go wrong but anyway so let me show you my Stanley <laughs> version right here 40 ounces in this beautiful ombre color and the brand name is called Miyoki and this is all over TikTok like TikTok made me buy it more more like you girls out there and everybody else guys and girls with the Stanley craze y'all made me buy it so um I fell for it I said let me buy it and and sure enough I did it was my first ever TikTok purchase it went really well it came from California it came fast it came quick and I have to tell you, I'm really happy I got this. It's beautiful. It has this um, rubber bottom. It's this beautiful ombre color, as you can see. I've had it for about a week already. 
and it came uh, with a beautiful, you know, like the straw and everything. And I've had it for a week, as I was saying, and it's been really great to have at home. I fill it up all the time, every day. I am doing 40 ounces with no problem. Beautiful handle and the purple color. And uh, yeah, and I can see why everybody has fallen for Stanley because, you know, 40 ounces in a tumbler is really nice. Anyway, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I have a lot of bags, but I just wanted to show you my Stanley dupe. And I, like I said, I got it on TikTok. And if once I tell you the price, you're going to be like, wow. And I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you two things about this. Okay. So number one, the price that I pay for this, they, they had it for like, um, I don't know, it was like $12 or $14, and it was discounted with shipping and everything. I picked this up for $9, $9.86. This is, I paid under $10 for this uh, tumbler, and I'm, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I really am. So, not to add salt to anyone out there, and I know, you know, you got your Stanley, and don't, don't, you know, sweat it or anything, but, you know, I just, this was unexpected. This just, it was all over TikTok, and I said, well, let me, let me, let me see if it's even worth it. So, for $9.86, I have to tell you, it was the, <laughs> the best buy ever. Now, one thing I do want to show you real quick before I move on, I'm going to remove the straw, uh, well, the, the straw, and as you can see, it has water, and it is a steel straw. And I want to show you this because this was amazing. Now, I have this filled with water. Like, can you see the... Yeah, you see, I don't want to... But it's filled with water. And the thing that got me the most with this uh, tumbler is... Um, I don't know if the Stanley has this, but this has like a little lid on the top like that. So I'm going to show you something. This is full. Now, let me just show you this because I've done this and it's scary, you know, to do it the first time. But let me just show you this. <laughs> no water no water drips out of this tumbler because it has this like that this thing there and it keeps the water from obviously spilling out and let me just show you see it has that little that little gadget right there so this little thing keeps the water in the cup and it prevents it from coming out just like that now if you do put the straw in the tumbler then that's a whole different story then of course the water is you know don't turn it upside down because it's gonna come out of the straw anyway I wanted to show you my my, my dupe Stanley uh, I'm gonna call it you know I guess Stanley without the E right but it's a Miyoki and if you're on TikTok take a look go on TikTok shop they they have a few of them and look for Miyoki it comes with different prices different colors You'll find one that you'll like. Anyway, let's move on to the bags because I have 15 bags. 15 bags. And I want to make this quick because I want to get to an unboxing. So I'm going to show you my first bag that I have here. This is my red fossil bag. I love this bag. It's a saddle bag. It's a used bag. I actually picked this up in consignment. It still has the receipt. And let me just, does it even have the price? I paid $15 for this bag on a consignment online from Fossil. It is such a beautiful bag. Look at that pebble leather. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. And it comes with the strap attached. It's one of their classic bags. I have not used it yet, but uh, I had to have it in my collection. So it says Fossil right there. Really pretty. And, and I tell you, you can find really nice bags when it comes to consignment. So... This is my saddle bag in red from uh, Fossil. So that's my first bag. My second bag I want to show you is my coach bag. This one you have seen. I have even used it. Um, I did a, a Instagram reel on this. And this is one of my favorite bags. This I picked up, I don't know, like two years ago. It's the coach nylon. It's in pink and it's with the cargo pocket. And I use it all the time. Like, this is a really nice bag. I have used it in the rain, uh, bad weather. Uh, again, nylon bags are the best. It got these cute cargo pockets. So that's one, one coach bag. And I love the color on the strap. Again, this one I think I did an unboxing. I'm not sure. But I, I, 
I think I did an unboxing for this bag on my channel, so you might find it there. So that's bag number two. Bag number three, let's move on to this one. This one you have seen. This is my Patricia Nash. I recently picked this up not too long ago. Again, I am in love with this bag. Uh, this bag, um, again, I have not used it, but I do look forward to using this bag. And she is so pretty. I do have an unboxing for this, so if you want to check her out, check out my channel. Uh, I'll try to post this somewhere here so that you can... Just go right to it if you want to see the unboxing to this Patricia Nash. And this beautiful, which I'm, um, this charm, I just recently picked this up just this week, as a matter of fact, off of eBay. And uh, it's just so pretty. Look at that sparkle right there. Absolutely cute. And it has the cute little uh, tassel. And I love it because it's in gold tone. And of course, it's going to go with any of my red and pink bag so yeah i'm happy to have that so i just put it on this one but whatever bag i use for valentine's day uh, i'm definitely going to use this uh charm set so yeah so this is my patricia nash in red and then i also have this bag this bag i have not shown on my channel um i got this bag off of macy's i would say probably about a year or hmm, maybe about a year ago and um this is the Field Tote 22, and what I love about this bag is the combination of the brown with this beautiful pink trim. Isn't that so pretty? So, of course, I consider this also a Valentine's Day carry because the pink is beautiful. It's vibrant. It's gorgeous. And, you know, you, you are familiar already with the Coach uh, Field Tote 22. It's a really nice size. It comes with the beautiful strap as well. So that's the strap it came with. And I just realized this strap is the same uh, same strap of the Coach Tote that I just recently purchased. My Cargo Tote 26, I think it was. Or I forget the number. But the one I just recently posted, the strap is almost the same. So how pretty is that? Uh, I'm going to move on. Let's see the next one. Oh my God, I have so many. I'm trying to like really rush. This is another bag that I picked up on consignment. I don't know the name of this bag, but this is a used bag as well. This is uh, Kate Spade in this beautiful floral print. It's a beautiful summer carry as well. Like, this is really pretty. But again, I can use this for Valentine's Day because it has a more of a, I would say a peachy pink and, you know, and then some pink uh, added in. So I'm like, why not? This could make a really pretty, and you know, it has a red as well. So it makes a really pretty uh, Valentine's Day bag if I wanted to use it. So this is my Kate Spade bag. This one does come with a strap as well. So I could use this as a crossbody. And I'll just show you like the inside. That's what it looks like right there. And it's just like really, really nice. And it's that soft nylon. So you can really just... Um, use it anytime it could be winter spring summer fall doesn't even matter and of course it has oh it's one of these uh by the way there's these flaps that has a zipper uh that you can actually use and it goes all the way down so it's like one of those kind of uh uh flap uh covers right to this bag so yeah so that's this one kate spade i'm trying to hurry up so it, it's gonna be a little chaotic so Please bear with me because I really want to show you the 15 bags because I want to get to the unboxing of Michael Kors and get to that one. So let me fix this up here. The next bag I have is this beauty. This one I just picked up not too long ago. I did also show this on my channel. I picked this up back in October when it was Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And this I picked off of eBay. This is the Derby in this beautiful uh, pink suede color. She is absolutely stunning love her and this is what it looks like so yeah so here's my my derby um i do also have this beautiful bag i've had this bag for quite some time it's one of my favorite this is a dooney and burke uh nylon satchel it's a double double pocket dome satchel bag in this beautiful like tomato red nylon color uh with the beautiful leather and it has the Dooney duck right there. And it's just like, this is like really one of my favorite bags. I might even use this because we we got snow today. So I might even use this tomorrow 
as I have to go out for Valentine's Day. So this could be a really nice carry because it's really appropriate for wet weather that we're having right now. And I don't know if it's going to snow some more, but at least I'll be prepared. So, yeah, so this is my Dooney and Burke uh, satchel. I also did an unboxing for this one. That one should also be on my channel. I'll try to find it so that you can check it out. But this is what it looks like. I know I Love Dooney has had these bags. It does pop up. So if it's not there today, keep checking because it'll be there soon. Like this is a very popular sell with I Love Dooney. Uh, let's see. The other bag, this one I also recently just showed. I did an unboxing. This is my Michael Kors uh, uh, small jet set tote <laughs> i keep saying mini micro who knows it's a small tote this isn't the color primrose i just did an unboxing or reveal of this bag this one i just picked up last year for uh black friday which i kept saying in my <laughs> in my other psa i kept saying good friday you know what black we know what good friday is but sometimes black friday really is a good friday because you get some good sales but yeah i picked this up for black friday so i just want to acknowledge that yes, I know the difference between Good Friday and Black Friday in case anyone was wondering. Not that they were, they brought it up to me, but I kept seeing that PSA. And I'm like, girl, it's not Good Friday, Black Friday. So I picked this up on Black Friday. So this is my Michael Kors uh, jet, my little jet set toe. Uh, the next bag I have, this one you've seen. I did pick this up last year as well. And this, uh, I picked it up actually last summer. This is Vera Bradley. This is the triple zip tote, uh, or hipster rather. And of course, very appropriate for Valentine's Day because of the hearts. This was last year's pattern. I did look at Vera Bradley this year's pattern. It wasn't too crazy, too fond of their uh, this year's New Year's, uh, New Year's, this year's Valentine's Day um, print. So I really didn't pick that up, but you know, again, this was last year's and it's just as beautiful. And this is like a pretty summer carry. Like I use this for the summer because it's just so, so pretty. So my Vera Bradley. Uh, my other pink bag. Oh, actually I have this bag uh, as well. Now this one I do have in the coach, coach bag. And this one is my backpack from coach which you've seen i did an unboxing to this one look how beautiful that color is that is so beautiful it's the turn like i forgot the name of this one but this is the one with the glove tan leather uh this is from the boutique i did add this little twilly to it i bought this i think this i bought from yeah this one i did buy from coach as well so that's my little backpack i haven't used this backpack in a while so I am tempted to use it, but I like to use it during the um, summer as well because of the color. So yeah, so this is one that um, you have seen and will see. So this is my, my, my coach bag, my coach backpack. My other bag that I have is this one that I want to show you. Let me fix this up. Now this one is sort of like a blushy pink and this one i picked up at tj maxx a while ago i have a few tj maxx bags i i would love to do a psa of all the tj maxx bags that i have that still have tags that i have not used and last time i counted i think it was like 11 11 bags i think that have tags from tj maxx i, I kid you not but that'll be for another psa but this one is a brand let me just see if I can find the brand. This one is, the brand is called Divine, Divina Forenzi. And it's very popular. This brand, you see it a lot, sold at TJ Maxx. And I just love this bag. I saw it, it was on clearance for, I got it for a really good price, actually. This one, I paid $40. It went for 50 bucks, and I got it for 40. It was on clearance, and when I saw the color, I, I just fell in love with it. I haven't even obviously used it yet, but I, the intent is to use it, but it is just so pretty. It does come with the strap, and uh, it has a zipper top, so it's just like a pretty baguette style. As you know, I have a few baguette style bags that I have been really uh, into lately, and this was no exception. I said, I need to add this baguette style bag to my collection, and so, yeah, so there it is. 
and they make really nice leather bags this uh, company yeah so you will find this brand a lot a lot sold at TJ Maxx like definitely that is a, a given all right so the next other bag let's see what else I have because I have quite a few um, I have this one which you have seen as well this I've used recently this is when you know and I'm still hobo love I love my hobo this is my mini uh, Sheila and this is in this beautiful color and this you have seen and she is one of my favorites she is a keeper she is not going anywhere I cannot wait for summer so I can just use it again because I love hobo I love their bags I keep I haven't been on hobo lately because I've been checking something else out but you know hobo and me we yeah we are in love we are doing great and we are not um, yeah we're not we are not gonna you know the relationship is strong is what I'm trying to say so <laughs> here's my my mini uh, Sheila my other bag that I have is this one this one I have not shown on my channel I got this bag oh my goodness I think I got this bag maybe two years ago but this is from coach this is the Clara and in the color this beautiful red color uh, bag it, le it seems a little brighter but it's quite dark it's like a nice dark red but look how pretty the Clara is they recently just had the Clara as well they brought it back and I think I saw this in a did I see this in a leopard print maybe or or in a few other colors but they did bring it back I love this uh, leather so pretty I have not really used this bag this is another one that I really need to get into but yeah so yeah so here's my Clara tote I mean my Clara bag so I wanted to show you this one and let me show you the inside as well while I'm, I'm at it has a strap I haven't even used the strap at all but it's it's a it's a beautiful bag so yeah it's a contender if I could but I don't think I'm gonna use this for a Valentine's Day but it's a beautiful bag that I will use in the summertime as well and let's see so we're almost getting there I think I got three more bags my other bag that I have, I haven't shown this bag in a while. Look at this beautiful satchel. This is the, I forgot what this is called, the small, the small shoulder satchel or bag or something like that. Um, again, this they recently just had not too long ago back on uh, I Love Dooney. They had it back there. And um, I just see it. I think they have a larger size though because this is the smaller size. I love this bag. This is like a bag that will... It's going to be a permanent uh, staple in my collection. This one is not going anywhere. And I just love it because, of course, it has the Dooney buckle. And this buckle is so cool because it's double-sided. So you can wear it any, any way you want. I usually like the gold, but sometimes, you know, when you want to feel with that little white one, of course, you can put that there. But it's a beautiful bag. It's strictly a handheld uh, bag it doesn't have a strap or anything it's just pretty much this is how you carry it that's why I love it it's just an easy bag to you know take in and out of the car put it at the crook of your arm but it's a beauty so yeah so I wanted to show you this one this one I did do an uh um, bagging I think I got this or an unboxing on my video I've had it for ooh, I would say more than two years I've had this bag and yeah she's a definite staple in my bag as well I mean in my collection as well and let's see I think I cover most of them okay and then my other last two bags that I want to show you is my Kira this is my Kira shoulder bag this one still has the tag I think I did an unbagging of this one this one I have in black also but I got this one in this beautiful red color I love this bag this this is such a pretty bag this Kira um, if you do not have a Kira, I definitely recommend get one because I, I've used the black one, but I haven't used the red one. Again, this is another bag that I'm tempted to use come even tomorrow. Like, I would use it. And again, it's pretty to use in the summertime. I can use this, you know, with jeans, a t-shirt, and then throw this on. Absolutely beautiful. It's light. Um, this is the strap, as you can see. But I believe this has the uh extender so i can make it longer i don't think i have it in here because i like i tend to keep my bags uh on the short side i like to carry as a shoulder but it does come with the strap 
that you can use this also as a crossbody. But I always like to keep it short because I always like the way it looks, you know, as a short uh, shoulder bag. So, yeah, so this is the Kira in red. And then my last bag that I'm going to show you before we get to the unboxing of Michael Kors is this beauty. I've had this beauty forever. She is one of my favorite, favorite bags. I always reach out, reach for this bag in the summertime. Like, I love this bag. This is from Tory Burch. I picked this up, um, I would say maybe like three years ago. And I love it because it's that combination of that beautiful pink with the red. And then the back has this, you know, pop of this ox blood kind of color. And then everything else is red. And then you have the pink front. And how cute is that with that design? And this is, I believe, the mini Perry bag um, uh, as well. I believe it's a mini Perry. Yes, it is. And the mini Perry, Tori makes it in all colors and variation so you can always find a mini Perry that suits your taste um, but so cute and it does come with the strap and check out the strap the strap is so co uh, cool as well because the strap is also two-toned it has the red and then the bottom where you connect has the pink and then the pop of, of that um, sort of like the ox blood color as well like, how cool is that? So, <laughs> I love this bag. It's one of my favorite bags. And as I said, it's a staple in my collection. This bag, I would never part with this bag. I might part with one or two in, in this collection here. But this one is a definite keeper. And, uh, yeah, and the leather is so nice. Oh, my goodness. Like, Tori makes the nicest leather. If you've been thinking about Tori Birch and the leather, it is really really nice like so so nice yeah i can't wait to use this bag again i i look forward to, to especially the summer because it's definitely a beautiful uh summer uh carry uh, as well so yeah so that's my uh tory birch crossbody i think those are all my 15 bags i think i did it really really quickly <laughs> and hopefully it won't go on too much this you know too long this video and I also wanted to show you really quickly the bag that I've been carrying, which I've been in this bag lately, the Skylar from Fossil. This has been my, my carry uh, bag, and I have to tell you, I love this bag. Uh, somebody actually just recently posted uh, on this video how the bag was holding up. I put this bag about, I don't know, maybe two years ago or something like that. It's held up well. I keep it in one of my bookshelves, and it just holds up nicely. The leather is beautiful. It's like, oh, my God, it's just one of those kind of bags. It gets slouchy, and I just love it. I'm not going to do a what's in my bag because there's no way with this video going long enough, and we need to do an unboxing. But let me just show you what the inside looks like. This is everything that I put in here. Like, it carries quite a bit and fits, you know, like, Everything is organized, no problem, easy to get to. The phone fits fine on this back pocket. So if you've been thinking about getting a Skylar uh, from Fossil, please, by by all means, do. Because it's like, it just gets better, better with time. So let me just put this here. So those are my bags. I might have more. I think I'm, you know, I might have, I think maybe two or three. But I show you 15 bags in about 28 minutes so to speak anyway let me fix myself up and now let me go get the box because we are going to do an unboxing from michael kors uh or of michael kors and it's a continuation of the saga from my last psa from michael kors where i got that used skylar so uh here we i mean not skylar my slater so let's go and check out michael kors all right i got the box but before anything let me get a swig of water out of my uh, Stanley Dew because I am thirsty. <laughs> I tell you, this is like one of the best $9.86 I've ever spent. <laughs> but anyway, let's not talk further about that because, uh, yeah, what can I say? All right, so here is the box. This is my continuation saga from uh, my last uh, PSA, which I did an unboxing from Michael Kors where I picked up the uh, Slater. And so I ended up returning that bag as quickly as I got it, that used, nasty, hideous, whatever bag that they sent to me. I was like, I was really, you know, pissed off. It's, it's the way 
the only way I can phrase it because I was like really bummed out. I was really looking forward to that bag and thankfully it was still within the window where I was able to get a full refund and so I did get my refund. I did get all, I did go online. Unfortunately, Michael Kors did not have it. Uh not in red. They had it in the signature, you know, prints. Uh I think they had it in black. But I didn't want black. I was really stuck on red, you know, because that red was so, so pretty. And, uh, yeah, so, anywho, so I ended up not buying a, a Slater. I keep saying Slater. I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, from I didn't get one from Michael Kors, but I did find a Slater that was on sale of all places. God help us, because I don't know how this unboxing is going to go. But I found a Slater at Bloomingdale's now I was I was a bit apprehensive because Bloomingdale's I haven't bought I haven't shopped at Bloomingdale's in quite some time because they kind of did me wrong when I purchased my uh Tory Burch my mini Miller which they also sent me a used bag and I was not at all happy and honestly I really have not looked at Bloomingdale's but when they show that they had this Michael Kors Slater, I was like, well, let me just go ahead and purchase it. And worst case, I can just send it back if it's in the same worst condition, like the Tory or like the Michael Kors red one. But this one, I was kind of happy because it's not red. It's actually a different color, which made me even happier, believe it or not. But I'm just so scared, so... Oh, here we go, because I tell you, I don't know. I, I, I hope they didn't pluck this off the floor somewhere. Uh, it did come from uh, California. And something about these bags from California, I think they just find one in the warehouse. They pluck it off the floor. They drag it a bit, right? They drag it on the floor, then they stick it in a plastic, and then they ship it to you. This is how I think they're functioning and doing things out in California. I don't know. I don't know, but anyway... I'm opening the box, and here we go. Alrighty, they did put paper, so that's like really nice, I guess. Let's remove the paper. Okay, so far they did put Bloomingdale's paper. Okay, and... Okay, this is a little interesting. It's getting more interesting. It's wrapped now, obviously, in a dust bag of sorts and uh <laughs> and it says Bloomingdale's it doesn't even say Michael Kors it says Bloomingdale's let me toss the box down and yeah and I don't hear plastic I think so I oh, I am so nervous okay here we go okay I think be all right okay so here is the slater and it is packaged not completely but it is packaged oh my goodness all righty i am happy i am so much happier oh my goodness she's so pretty look she has a tag connected to the bag attached she has a ticket attached to the bag rather it's not in the back pocket you know it's not completely obviously packaged but listen this is a whole lot better than what michael kors sent me and yeah i am ecstatic now let me see if i could okay so the color let me just show you the color this is the color is called geranium which is a sort of it's a pinky color i don't know maybe with the lighting and my shirt it might give a bit of a red but it is a beautiful pink color. I'm trying to see if I can get the, the color. Maybe more. Mm. If I put it towards the light. But yeah, like right there is where you could see more of that pink. But it's like a... Oh, how would I phrase it? It's like a, a really deep pink. It's not a pale pink or anything like that. But it's so pretty and I'm so happy. And I'm not going to go into details because you just see the unboxing. It's the same one. I don't want this video to go on longer than necessary. But I have to tell you, I am extremely ecstatic. And um, I'm trying to think the price that I paid. I think the price was... 
Ooh, I'm gonna post what I pay for, but the bag goes for two seventy eight. I think with tax and everything, I think I paid one fifty. I don't have a receipt, but yeah, the bag is a keeper because this geranium color is not on Michael Kors website, and I am very very happy. Wow, I am so so happy. Let me remove the inside at least so you can see what the inside looks like and it is you know obviously a very new bag and I cannot tell you how thrilled I am and it has the care card oh my goodness I am so happy I was so nervous because Bloomingdale's did me wrong and I, I tell you I was really afraid so I, oh, I'm so thrilled you know this is like I was expecting the worst. Honestly, I was expecting the worst. And I said, this this PSA is going to end in a bad note. And the PSA ended up ended in a good note. Let's check the... First, I'm going to check the buckle real quick. Because they could have just taped this. So, I just want to make sure that the buckle is good. And that it has no scratches or anything like that. And the cute thing about this bag. If you remember my red bag was gold tone uh silver uh, gold tone hardware this one is actually silver tone hardware so there you go oh she is pristine not no scratches brand new absolutely gorgeous and it is in the silver hardware which is even nice as well it's not gold i did like the red and gold but this pink and silver is absolutely stunning beautiful and um, here is the chain as well. I am so deliriously happy. And here's the, the zipper pole, absolutely beautiful. And then of course it says Michael Kors on the front. And I love this strap. This strap, this is like a half inch, or no, an inch wide. It's so nice. And I can't tell you how happy I am. Let me just put this on real quickly. Let me see if I could show you. Let me kind of put it down real fast and show you what the bag looks like. Oh my goodness. She is gorgeous. I, oh, let me put a little more down. And there you go. She is beautiful. Okay, I am happy. Thank you, Bloomingdale's, for coming through with a beautiful bag. And, um, yeah, I am so, so happy. It's going to be a beautiful summer carry. And, yeah, I'm so happy. So let me fix myself up here so I can get this back to a decent height. Okay. All right. So let me I had to sit myself back down. I am thrilled and I am happy. Oh my goodness, this was quite a saga, and I, I am really, like, I can't tell you how happy I am that I ended this in a really positive note. I was afraid that I was going to have to return this bag back, and I was really, you know, convinced that the Slater and me were not meant to be, but we are, and of course I'm adding this pink to the rest of my collection, so this is, you know, right here I have 15 bags, red and pink, so this is going to be bag number 16 <laughs> that I know of. I'm sure I probably have one or two more, but if I ever find them, I'll let you know. But yeah, so here you go, my Slater, and in the color geranium. So if you ever wonder what geranium looks like, this is geranium. All right, Dick Denise, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this PSA. I want to wish all my Galentines out there, all my girls, all my guys, a happy Galentine's Day. And with your honeys, a happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I hope you get to enjoy it. And, uh, and, um, and that's pretty much it. Like, have a nice time, <laughs> whatever you do for Valentine's Day. All right, I will check you out on the next PSA. I don't know what it is, but, you know, I'm always rolling into something. But I thought it would be just fun to, to cover this. And if it's a little chaotic, I apologize in advance because I really... This is, like, the first time I probably whip out 15 bags all at once. And I said to myself, how am I going to do this? But, you know, I just wanted to get it done. So I hope you had as much fun as I did because it was fun. I might pull out and do this again and do another kind of, uh, you know, collection video because I, I got bags that I would love to show all of you. I do want to do that TJ Maxx bag, but yay. So anyway, I am thrilled and uh, yeah. 
All right, Nathan, he says, I will check you out on the next one. Until then, be safe, stay well, love one another, be kind, be courteous, and I will check you out on the next PSA. Take care now. Bye. <laughs>